Next up is the changing face of Icons. Have a look at this, it's pretty sci-fi. Icons are a company that is forever adapting to a growing climate. They're a pioneer in providing internet connections to commercial and residential New Zealand users. Icons were one of only two companies providing internet solutions to the Auckland and far north regions of New Zealand. You are today in our Icons offices in Auckland and we are a cloud hosting company. We were the first internet company of New Zealand, that's where the name came from, Icons. Internet company of NZ. So what we did five years ago, because we are hosting uh, the internet in our data centers, we looked at where the market's moving to and we found that that is cloud. So if I say the cloud, what does that mean? It means things like we all have a Gmail account or a LinkedIn account or iCloud. So we as consumers have data of our own out in somebody's data center somewhere in the world. So we realized um, if we offered that service to businesses where we can take their infrastructure and host it in our data center as a local New Zealand business, other New Zealand businesses would want to move and um, come to us. So we actually provide data center space to other businesses. We also use that same data center to provide our cloud platform. The way the cloud platform is built it, we've got enough capacity within our data center to add and grow that. So it's really a case of how much more equipment do we need based on the customer demand or the amount of customers that we pull on. So we budget that accordingly to what we think our growth is going to be in a 12 month period. And we do that against, you know, trends in the marketplace and our business focus. As most businesses do, you look at the next big thing, you see how the markets are changing and adapting, and the more competition that comes in, you obviously need to um, start looking at how you're gonna differentiate yourself as a business. Yeah, it's exciting because the opportunities is, is as vast as you want it to be, but it's also very much about being pointed and focused on, on what you can achieve today, because you can get very carried away with where it might be in a year or two years time. And it's about taking what we had and making it profitable, making it, changing it into something that is cash, cash flow rich. And the very nature of cloud means cash flow. We get a monthly subscription. We have customers that pay us a monthly subscription. And um, so it's annuity business. And annuity business means we have monthly cash flowing in and we have no spend on infrastructure. You're obviously always going to have uh, to maintain your infrastructure but we're in the good position that we built it right the first time and we're able to manage it um, you know, as we go on. This is our first data centre. Um, quite loud in here as you can hear. Uh, the reason it's loud is uh, we have a number of uh, process callers in and around the room. They control uh, temperature, humidity and various other things. And the raised floor that you see below us is, is uh, filled with pressurised cold air. So that's what's generating the noise as well as the uncomfortable temperature in here. So all the equipment is actually up three or 400 mil off the actual concrete floor, as well as we do have temperature sensors and moisture sensors around the floor to tell us if there are floods. There's a lot of fixed capital built into this room and that's around the equipment, so the distribution boards, the power systems, process coolers here and, and all the networking equipment that ties this all together and allows it to run. The bulk of the stuff in this room at the moment is not actually icons, this is all customer equipment, but um, slowly we're seeing customers transit to cloud and cloud-based services, so increasingly their equipment that's in the racks here is um, coming out and then we'll refill it with our own stuff for the cloud. Icons are a fully secure powered company. This means that even in Auckland's unreliable power climate, Icons has backup power supplies that will give 100% protection 
to all your company's data. Our business, um, we believe in engaging our teams um, to be part of the plan. So we come up with the budget for the year, the target that we need to achieve and how we want to achieve it. We then, then sit with our teams and come up with a plan and we break it down all the way to a monthly goal. So we take the annual goal, we need to grow by 38% this year, how are we going to achieve that? And then we break it down per quarter and we make every single team lead and the staff responsible for achieving that goal. <laughs> they will do it. <laughs> yeah, weekly, daily, we have daily huddles, <laughs> weekly meetings, monthly catch ups, and quarterly, quarterly um, review of what to do. What I do is I put these amazing cust uh, uh, team celebrations in place, massive celebrations. And then I go to our vendor partners and I say, you have to pay for this party. But it's not a party, it's a party based on achieving our goals. And our goals are hectic goals they're not easy to achieve celebrating success is, is pretty important you know I, I think we often forget that that you know that, that you know what, what is success it means many different things to many people but just having an opportunity to thank the team and look back and reflect and you know have a few drinks and have a party and say thank you is, is a critical part of our culture with party poppers, with Mexican parties, with um, <laughs> with 70s parties, as you, you name it. You can't manage everything. <laughs> so there's two type of customers. You have new business customers, so the entrepreneur that's got his new idea and he's coming on board and you know he needs the bank to guide him on how to set up a business, cash flow, you know, what's the best options. So and then you have your existing customers that might be plateauing or looking for the next big thing or um, need to ramp up their business and grow. So you have two completely different uh, business customers. We sat down with ANZ Bank to come up with a way that we can help both of them. So for a new customer, we would, um, instead of them now taking money to invest in IT infrastructure, they can pay a monthly subscription fee and we can look after their infrastructure for them. ANZ Bank also has existing customers where we help them by offering them an opportunity to try out the cloud. As a business, being able to work with a bank that has the same footprint is important to us. So we grew into Asia in 2006 through the acquisition of a business in, in Singapore. So we're now in India, China, Malaysia, Singapore, Hong Kong and Australia. And having the bank in those locations means we can operate our businesses there. My advice is if, if you believe that the opportunity is there, you absolutely go for it. The most important thing is have a very clear plan of what you need to do and have very clear measurable milestones to so you know you're achieving that plan. In our industry, the most important thing is security and availability. So, because if, if you think about it, if you're a business and you give me access to all your data, if I go down, your business stops. So you need to make sure that that will never happen. So if a person wants to get into this type of business, they need to build it right, make sure they've got the right skills available to them, and just listen to your customers, what they need.